I'm about to tell you another huge disorder that was on the NCLEX recently, as in like three days ago. Let's talk about the fib. This is ventricular fibrillation. This is an NCLEX favorite. The fib happens when the ventricles are quivering versus actually contracting. That means there is no cardiac output, which means there is no blood being pumped, which means there is no pulse. Think of this kind of as like the heart during the worm dance instead of actually pumping. What this looks like, on the monitor, you will see some wacky lines going on look chaotic. It will look wavy. No P waves. There's no QRS complexes. It's just scribbles. And in real life, the patient is unresponsive. There's no pulse. There's no breathing. Priority for the NCLEX is this is a shockable rhythm. First, you are going to call a code. You are going to start CPR immediately. You are going to use a defibrillator to always shock V-fib. After the defibrillator, you have to continue CPR. Have to give them epinephrine and possibly a meterone because this is going to help stabilize the rhythm. Remember, you do not shock a systole or PEA. Only shock V-fib and a pulseless VTAC. Remember this for the NCLEX. V-fib equals V-flutter. Ventricles are fluttery, not pumping. That means you have to shock the flutter back into rhythm. You see V-fib on an EKG strip with no pulse. Correct answer is always going to be defibrillate first after CPR. If they have a pulse, it's not V-fib. V-fib is only no pulse, always. Will most likely show in your NCLEX. It was on the NCLEX three days ago from multiple people that have told me this. Save this, take notes, share this out, comment down below if you knew this information. If you didn't, if you found this helpful, let me know so I could keep giving you this information to help you pass your NCLEX and become that nurse you've always wanted to be. Grab my study notes, watch my videos while you're taking notes, join my lives. Go, you got this, let's pass the NCLEX. I got you, happy studying.